When you see this structure in the skyline, you know you've hit the South Bernard town of Kingaroy, about two and a half hours northwest of Brisbane. It's the peanut capital of Australia, and I'm not talking about the locals. Although, come to think of it, the locals are going a bit nuts. It's all because the countdown is on to the inaugural Tractor Tattoo Festival, where all of these old girls finally get their time in the sun. Cheryl, tell me about the tattoo. The Tractor Tattoo 2012 is an arts and music project that the community came up with the idea about 12 months ago. And what are some of the things that it incorporates? Oh, there's so many things. Arts, Cultural and Heritage Committee member Cheryl Dalton is one of the key figureheads behind the inaugural festival and she couldn't be more proud of the event. It's got a visual arts project, so some of the art galleries are actually having you know, specific exhibitions. We've got uh, bands learning different pieces, we've got choirs learning songs, there's a piece being written for a choir. So it's a whole range of different things for the whole community to get involved in. So Tractor Tattoo, it's an unusual name, how did that come around? We were looking for something that would spike people's imagination, I suppose, and we wanted something that was synonymous with a rural community, which is what we are. So everyone from Blackbutt to Mergen, out to Burren Down, so all the farmers identify with the tractor, and we wanted to bring in the music and art thing as well. Out here, tractors aren't just for farming, and no one knows that better than the dedicated folk from the Kingaroy and District Vintage Machinery Club. Their rally in Cumbia, a little town about 30 k's south, is a must-see over the Tractor Tattoo weekend. Plenty of activity all day. We have a grand parade, we have sled pulling, we have slow tractor races, buckethead races, um, balancing beam, um, numerous things, um, and there's some ploughing corn shelling activities, you've got the small engines, chainsaws, trucks, cars, bikes. If it's one thing about tractors, you can hear them coming a mile away. I can hear one now. Wow. I know, not the sound you were expecting. The musical tractor is set to be one of the big attractions of the festival and the man behind the design is Steve Langton. This is the um, first musical tractor though in the world I, I would say. <laughs> and it's right here in Kingaroy. <laughs> it is today, yeah. Now I believe a very special piece has been composed for the festival. Yes, um, Peter Ranker, a composer from Bundaberg, is composing a work for tractor and other percussion um, which will be uh, performed right here in Kingaroy Town Square. And we've basically got tuned bells made out of um, tuned mag wheels off cars. Um, there's 20 tuned mags, and then there's a kick drum and a hi-hat in this tank. <laughs> the headlights are gonna be playable. So there's stations for at least four people, or, you know, or more. Um, and yeah, it's a permanent work. So I think it's actually going to spend perhaps the first year in Kingaroy and then maybe the next year in Mergen. Or, so it's an <laughs> installation that will move around the South Burnett Shire. So you're telling me that this has to fit over that? I better get cracking. A relatively new craze to hit the globe is called yarn bombing. And in case you were wondering, Kingaroy is getting in on the action and knitting the town red for the festival. Tractor Tattoo 2012 celebrations are running throughout the month of September. You can find all the info, including details of the September 15 performance, on the South Burnett Regional Council website. <laughs> You want me in your band, don't oh, you? Oh, we do, we do. You've got to sign up. <laughs> <laughs>